All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to OGGO. Greg Osmond here. I'm not going to beat around the bush that much with this episode. Episode 10, NASCAR Heat 4, Career Mode. And here we are. Race 7, the Extreme Dirt Tour, presented by Motorsport.com. Jefferson Road Course, the Dirt Road Course. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is... Uh this is my kryptonite, if you will. Um, we're halfway through. After this race, we'll be halfway through the season. We've got three races until the playoffs. We are leading the point standings right now. Um, got two wins, 10 playoff points. Up by Todd Laguerre, over eight points. Um, like I said, this this race right here is the, the wild card. So um, let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Jefferson Road Course, 12 laps. Here we go. All right, here we are. The Jefferson Road Course. The Dirt Road Course. This is a fantasy track, uh, if that even needs to be said. Um, I've done a few races here before. I'm not good. Um, my goal this time around is going to be finish the race without causing an accident. <laughs> I know that's kind of weird, but that's what I'm going with. Um, so I'm gonna uh, and change the camber, lowering the, the rear of the car so they're a little more even. And let's go get a couple practice laps in here. This is just one of those, one of those tracks that I don't think you would ever see in real life but it would uh it would definitely be interesting you turn the sound off or down on my monitor um it would definitely be interesting to see um yeah, especially with the way way dirt late model racing is, is is going right now so all right now we're on a drag strip it's the only paved portion of the course Winding that thing out at the end of the end of the quarter mile. If I'm not mistaken, there are portions of this track or course that actually use part of a dirt oval. I actually think this is this is part of it right now that we're on. We're just going the wrong way. All right, now I always screw up these two corners. I do, I do all right with them in practice, and as I say that, I go flying off the edge. Um, yeah, uh, it's this is just, it's just one of those tracks that I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like it's, it's a road course. We're racing a dirt road course. I think, I, I think I'm going to put that camber back where it was. The car definitely cornered better uh, when I was racing previously. See, I do all right when there's no, no other cars around. But I'm still, I'm still bouncing off the wall. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh man, that actually wasn't a terrible lap. So I'm gonna put one more, one more down. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just want to get one more practice lap here. I really want to get the sponsor bonus. That's really what it is. took that corner a little I started to take that corner a little better oh that's not good okay so yeah let's uh head back to the garage <clears throat> I 
and like I said, we're gonna change this back. And I'm gonna let's I'm gonna go to the smallest front sway bar I can get. Which uh, yes, yeah, 1.065. Okay, so I'm gonna try this for a few laps. We we're really close on our, our practice goal. Um Yeah, we we're really close to the practice goal. So let's let's try and let's try and get that practice goal. Uh, I realize this is just you know three four minutes of me wandering around a, a dirt road course, but uh, I, I'm hoping it will be worth it in the end. And those tires are screaming. Oh yeah, the sway bar change and the the camber change. If you notice, the top of the tires are both leaning towards the inside of the car. You can't notice it on the right front as much. Ooh crap! Uh, as you can on the left front, but the tops of the tires should be leaning in towards the 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 engine of the car just to help with the left right cornering all right let's let's throw down a good lap here like i said i always screw these corners up and never have a good run off that wasn't bad it certainly wasn't the worst way to get out of that corner go there we go like even going down the straightaway not even turning the car you can hear the tires car feels really good right now actually I'll be a lot more confident once we complete this lap and see where it stands and once qualifying is over because as we've seen with all of our other races the AI has insanely fast qualifying laps oh man look at that 113 yeah that's good we're gonna we're gonna leave it right there as we do a little pirouette 360 and stop all right we're gonna head back to the garage Uh, yeah, we'll go to the next session and yeah, 107. So, uh, we're not going to have a good qualifying time. So, um, that's, that's about, uh, about where it is. So let's, uh, let's go do this. Let's go qualify here. All right. Oh boy. Oh, what happened there? Thank goodness we're not on the clock yet. Yowza. Right, let's just get a good warm-up lap in here. And, you know, I'm not going to try and set the world on fire with this qualifying lap. I'm really just going to try and have a clean lap. That's really all that matters to me right now. Okay. All right. I know I'm not talking very much, but concentrating too hard. There we go. That was a good corner. Just like practice, don't don't tell me that. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, 
there we go. Look at that. That was good. That was good. And that engine is humming. See, that's the thing, though. I can't really, I can't really do anything with the gearing because if I, if I do, I'm either gonna lose acceleration, which isn't good for all these corners, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna not almost hit the rev limiter on the one straightaway where the car does that. So, good lap, good lap there. One twelve thirty eight, twelfth. That's respectable, I think. That's, yep, yeah, puts us right in the middle of the field. So, oh, Todd Laguerre's behind us. That's good. Uh, Caleb Stevenson is, is one row ahead of us. I'm sure, yep, yeah, Tony Stewart second. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, let's, let's head back to the garage and uh, get ready for the race. All right, back in the garage. Had a decent qualifying time. We're not gonna gain any spots. So it looks like everybody's starting where they're supposed to, at least those that were in front of us. So 12 laps, not a long race, but it is a road course. <sighs> Let's just finish in good standing and don't aggravate any of our competitors. Let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. Evan Ratner posted some fast laps in qualifying in practice. Aubrey Scott has been dominant all weekend. She won the pole. Be surprised if she did not win the race. <coughs> all right, here we go. Starting 12th. All right, now we want to make sure we set ourselves up for this corner. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, we got by him, we got by him. Whew, that was, that was a little hairy. Ooh, don't wanna do that. I don't wanna, I'm not trying to cut these corners. All right, I got Caleb Stevenson right behind me. And Todd Laguerre's right behind him. Oh, oh, that wasn't pretty at all. Oh, the gear just shoved me right into the wall. I don't even know what to say to that. Then I just ran myself into the wall. Out, back or down. Oh, 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 that wasn't me. That was not me. <laughs> All right. We're, uh, <sighs> we're not going to pit. I'm just hoping this isn't a, a recurring theme here. better than last time. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Leslie Gomez using me all up there. Oh my goodness. Can I send mean messages to these people about running into me? They're very quick to judge when, when I so much as breathe on them. Oh man. 
Yep, I'm gonna get a nasty message about that. You wrecked me last race. Uh, yeah, because we actually got got it completed. <laughs> right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Not the best... Not the best exit, but... I think we might lose the points lead after this one. We've got to come back here. Oh, man. Okay. I think we've set ourselves up in a decent rhythm here. I don't know what the caution's for, but I think I need it because Todd Laguerre is up to fourth. Not gonna pit. I know I got a lot of damage, but whew. Coming to the green, driver. I'm assuming Aubrey Scott is still leading. There we go. That might be the best I've ever taken that corner. Ooh, got into Schneider. Got into Bo Duke there. Ooh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, if you can. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm right behind Todd Laguerre right now. Here we go. How many laps to go? Overtime. <laughs> I told you guys, this is a wild card race. This is, uh, oh. it's one of those races that anything can happen. Ooh, not what I was trying to do at all. Oh boy, he's not going to be happy with me. Uh, what do I do? Two laps to go. You know what? This is the right thing to do. I'm putting myself to the tail because I caused that. That was my fault. 100%. My fault. Two laps to go. We're still in overtime. These guys are just just they're they're so fragile at this track. You you barely touch them and they spin out like right there. He was weeble wobbling all over the place after I just barely touched him. Ugh. All right. Caleb Stevenson not having a great race either. He's in only in 15th. Remember, our, our team goal is we need a top 15. Jesus, I got to get out of the wall first. And we are in 21st right now, so we've still got to gain six more spots just to hit that team objective or that stretch goal, if you will, up to 19th now. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, yep, that was my fault. 100%. Nobody spun out. I'm going to roll with it. We 
We just need to pass Danny Hoffman. And I realized for sure, oh god, I'm probably going to lose the points lead now. Oh god. Yeah, we've got a pit after that. Oh boy. All right. Back to 24th. I knew this was going to be a bad race. <laughs> oh boy. Let's let's just try and get that top 15. That's that's really all I want right now. All right, there we go. There we go. They just now look. He's he's wobbling. He's wobbling. He's weaving back and forth. Back under us. We lost another one. Now we've got to gain as many spots as we can as quickly as we can because once the leader takes a white flag and crosses the overtime line, if a caution comes out after that, race is over. I just realized some of these guys might actually be shifting. Uh, I am not. I'm just sticking it in high gear and letting her, letting her eat. Man, they slow down so much. There's 15th. I just gotta hold it. Okay. Let's just hold 15th. Go. Oh. Over rotated it just a little bit. We gotta hold it, gotta hold it, gotta hold it. <sighs> Man, this is it's just it's so heart pounding. Alright. Fourteenth. I wouldn't call that a nice job. <laughs> that was not a nice job. At all. Fourteenth place. That is that is piss poor, if you ask me. So let's see who got the win. Aubrey Scott got the win. Todd Laguerre finished sixth. So maybe not as bad as we thought from a points perspective, but uh that is yet to be determined. Not a great payday either. Oh, tied. Ho, 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 ho. And then Tony Stewart's only three point. Man, this is shaping up to be pretty good points battle. Oh. Shaping up to be a real good points battle. Tony Stewart, no wins yet. That is surprising. Three, four, six. Yeah, I am the only person with multiple wins. That should help when we get to the playoffs. All right. Let's uh, check out the race results here. Aubrey Scott had the fastest lap. That is not surprising. She also led the most laps. Again, not surprising. Started on the pole. CJ Boswell started 20th, finished 7th. That is a pretty good, pretty good day. And then Matthew Day started 9th, finished 21st. Ouch. All right, let's head back to our uh, shop, whatever you want to call it, and see what's next. All right, race summary. Nationwide 25 finished 14th, $1,736. Eight fans. I'm very surprised anyone wants to follow me after that. 
Let's see who's mad at me now. Oh, bad day for Greg Osmond. Is this the beginning of the end? No, it's not. It was a road course. Chillax, okay. That was a tough race. Move on. Yes, thank you, Danny Hoffman. That was a tough race. Hey, as usual, you ran a perfect race. Say, we're all getting together for some... Okay, I will compliment you. Uh, oh, wow. You want to be like me? Uh, hmm. You need to clean up your driving or else stay home. You completely ran into me last race. Probably, but I'm sorry. What's your deal? You completely wreck me. Yeah, yep. Sorry, my bad. Uh, yep, yep, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, it is what it is. I, I knew that was going to happen. All right. What's up next here? I got an extreme dirt tour race number eight. What is on the docket for next episode? We've got Taggart. Oh, that's a long track. I'm excited for that one. Um, that's going to do it here for episode 10 NASCAR Heat 4 career mode. The OGGO Greg Osman here. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, follow along with this as well as everything else we're going to do here. Um, and as always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Ha.